officers. Central Patrol officers were flagged down by community members and informed of a stabbing that occurred in the area of 6th Street and Spring Street. A portion of the stabbing was captured on video from a nearby security camera. Here is a corresponding radio broadcast. Clark Port CL 55, be advised there's a, uh, a male uh, on the southwest corner of 6th and Spring Street. Um, it uh, looked like it might have been a victim of an assault. Can you have a uh, central unit response? I'm continuing my response to the T uh, traffic. SP5, I'm going to be go 6 on that call on 6th and Spring. Let me get a backup for a man with a knife. In a unit in the vicinity, one FP5 is resting a backup for unit supervisor, six in the spring for a fourth command with a knife. The responding officers discovered a victim of a stabbing at the location and were subsequently directed to a nearby apartment building on the 200 block of West 6th Street, where the suspect had last been seen. Upon the arrival of additional officers, they responded to the nearby apartment building. As they ascended to a corresponding floor of the building in search of the suspect, they discovered an additional victim of a stabbing. Here is additional video footage from a nearby security camera. After speaking with possible witnesses of the second stabbing, the officers determined that the suspect was possibly located in an apartment nearby. That suspect was later identified as Lok Duong. The officers responded to that nearby apartment and knocked on the door. Duong initially answered the door armed with a large kitchen knife, but remained in the doorway. The officers gave him verbal commands to drop the knife and exit the apartment. However, Duong did not comply. As a result, one officer fired a 40 millimeter less lethal launcher foam projectile round at Duong. The round struck him and he closed the door. Moments later, Duong opened the door once more and emerged, still armed with a large kitchen knife. The officers continued to give Duong verbal commands to drop the knife. However, he did not comply and instead began to advance towards the officers. The officers then fired additional 40 millimeter foam projectile rounds while also deploying multiple taser probes at Duong to stop his actions. However, the 40 millimeter rounds and taser probes had a limited effect on Duong. He continued to advance towards the officers while repeatedly telling the officers to kill him. After the officers fired the final taser probes at Duong, he stopped advancing and suddenly began to stab himself repeatedly in the abdominal area with the knife he was holding. Down. Okay. What, did you see no, man, I just want to say help, man. Yeah. I just got the element of her help. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, come here, dude. Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, Hey, do you know if there's a male Asian that lives on the fourth floor? No, I know that he does, man. He don't. Huh? He's killing. He no, no, no. Let's put him in recovery. Can you stand over there for me, please? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Hey dudes, got some. Let's set up a perimeter. You're gonna be in the building. Oh shit! Just gonna set up a perimeter. Hey dude, let's go ahead and start. Hey, stay with me, sir. Stay with me. Uh, hey Ward, uh, the suspect's gonna be outstanding. He just stabbed someone in the ward. Uh, it's gonna be a male, Asian, uh, unknown age, approximately five eight, five nine. Wearing gray or gray, gray, gray. He's gonna have a butcher knife, kitchen butcher knife. It's probably 417, they said. Uh, Perfect, perfect. Hey, suspect is a male Asian person, 5859, and another victim on the 4th floor. <laughs> This is LAPD. Anyone inside room 417? Come out with your hands up. Let's go ahead and back again. Okay, hey, come on, hey, your hands up. Hey, start walking this way. Put that knife down. Hey, cut the knife down. Hey, cut the knife down. Forty up. Hey, come on, your hands up. Hey, come on, your hands up, sir. Hey, suspect had a knife on his right hand. He still has a knife. He still has a knife. He's wearing a black sweater. He fell down to the bed right now. It was about a ten inches, like a big, like. It's a big knife. Sweater. He fell down to the bed right now. It was about a 10 inches, like a big knife. Like, it's a big knife, yeah. Back up. Hey! Put the knife down! Hey! Hey! Put the knife down! 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 Hey! Taser, taser, coming out. Drop the knife, I will shoot you. Taser, watch out. Hey, taser, taser. 
Watch out. I'm gonna Hold on, man. Hold on. Hey, taser, taser. Hold on. Hold on. Drop the knife. Drop the knife, sir. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene of the initial stabbing and to the apartment building. Both stabbing victims were transported to a local hospital to be treated for the critical injuries they sustained during this incident. The initial victim was treated for the injury he sustained and remains in critical condition. The second victim did not respond to life-saving measures and was pronounced deceased. Duong was also transported to a local hospital to be treated for the self-inflicted injuries he sustained during the incident. While at the hospital, Duong was pronounced deceased. Investigators recovered the 10-inch knife Duong was armed with at scene and booked it as evidence. Locke Duong was a 67-year-old resident of Los Angeles.